Hey everyone, Squee913 here, and welcome to my top secret, super duper elusive surprise LP. And I know what you're saying, but I didn't know about any top secret, super duper elusive surprise LP. And of course not, because if you did, then it wouldn't be a super duper... Okay, you know what, I'm going to stop that. <laughs> it sounded like a good idea before I started talking, and then it just kind of got lame. Um, yeah, so, this is a surprise LP. And I'm pretty much recording this intro just to delay the inevitable so that you're sitting there going, well, what is it, man? And I'm like, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about it. Uh... Yeah, so you want to see it? You want you want to you want to see my super duper top secret LP? Do, do you? OK, yeah, I, I just I want to give you time to envision in your head what you think this is going to be. And then that way you can be like, oh my god, I'm so surprised when, when you when you see it. Or maybe not. Maybe you're that one person that guessed right. Probably not, though. Maybe, but no. No, definitely not. Captain's personal log, stardate 54303.1. Our new first officer is working out nicely, quite capable, though mildly lacking in experience. The commander will gain that with time. My ship has been assigned to the Vesuvi system to investigate the unusual solar activity hampering colonization in the Maelstrom. I hope to learn more at the Vesuvi 4 terraforming station the sole Federation outpost in this region of space. We are also on alert for any Cardassian activity. Despite Starfleet's claims, I doubt we've seen the last of them here. Icarus 2 is approaching the station. Sir, we're getting some very strange readings from that star. Commander, emergency message from the captain. On screen. Star, oh my god. Its core is destabilizing. Get the ship out of here, now! Sir, warp engines not responding. Routing emergency power to impulse engines. Picking up an unidentified object warping out of the system. I can't get a good reading on it. We've cleared the system, sir. Setting course for Starbase 12 for emergency repair as ordered.
<laughs> Bet you didn't see that coming, did ya? Oh, come on, admit it. Of all the games you thought this could have been, this was, like, number 87 on your list. So, Star Trek Bridge Commander. <sighs> um... First of all, let me state by this is a blind LP. I've seen the intro and I've seen um, like three or four minutes of gameplay, some multiplayer game um, aspect of it. When I was trying to check this game out, I know nothing about the story or how the game actually works or anything like that. So I would be going through the tutorial and you might want to skip that if that kind of stuff bores you. Uh, but this is kind of out of nowhere. Uh, and I, it's an interesting thing I, I figure I should explain for those who care. Um, as you know, there's a craze going out right now for a game called FTL, Faster Than Light, which is a, a, a game you can get on Steam. It's a really fun game. However, what the game always reminded me of was Star Trek. Because, you know, you have one ship and you control its systems and repair and blah blah blah, like a Star Trek battle. And it really kind of um, reminded me that there were some old Star Trek games I never got to play, like um, Klingon Academy which was a game that I always heard was so fantastic and so great and I happened to find it at uh, one of my used bookstores uh, in the area called Half Price Books and I was so excited to play it and for about two weeks I've been trying to get it to work and it doesn't work. I think the discs are just busted. And I got really sad. And when I got sad, um, I, while I was trying to find solutions for this, I kept hearing about this game, Star Trek Bridge Commander. And um, I... Uh, I, I took a couple looks at like the gameplay video on YouTube, and, and it looked very, very cool, actually. Very cool. So I Amazoned it. <laughs> and it came, and I got it, and I've installed some mods for it, um, which I, I mean, honestly I don't really know much about other than it's just supposed to help improve like bug fixes and things like that for the single-player and multiplayer games. So, the point of this game, as I understand it, is you're the the bridge commander, the commander of the bridge. In fact, from what I understand, the whole game can be played from the captain's chair, you just directing people and telling them what to do. But it's supposed to be very intensive um, in managing your ship and the energy and the damage to the systems. And, and it's supposed to really give the feel that you're flying a huge capital ship, fighting other huge capital ships. But we'll see. Uh, I'm really excited to play this. I think it'll be fun, good, tactical, combat-y things. Just gonna configure. That's all good. That's all good. Yeah, sure. Controls. Space bridge or tactical. Hang on. Good lord, there are a lot of options. This looks like this is going to be kind of a complex game. Good. Good. All right. Let's start a new game. Uh, we'll just do normal difficulty. And, of course... Captain Squee. Let's do this! Hello everyone! My name's Bernard, and I'm like the biggest, biggest super uber Star Trek fan in the history of ever. I've seen like all of their episodes, even the lost episodes that I made myself, so I am like totally sophisticated in the ways of the universe of Star Trek. And since some of you may not be on the same level of sophistication that I am, I thought that I would help Squee out with his LP. You know, so in case you come across a ship or some technical data or some race or something that you don't know about, good old Bernard will be there to help you on your journey of awesomeness. Okay? So, I should also point out that Squee wanted me to say that I am not supposed to be a representation of anything real, and I am not intended to insult anyone who actually likes Star Trek in any way, shape, or form. I am just an imaginary character designed to bring laughter to the masses. So, if you find me insulting, grow a sense of humor. Okay guys, before we get started, I wanted to discuss a couple of things about the universe of Star Trek and the way it works. Star Trek, in the world of Star Trek, you fly giant capital sized ships. It's not like Star Wars, where you fly tiny little fighters. No, you fly giant ships with really powerful weapons, so you're very slow to move and turn. But every race has different types of ships. 
and different types of systems. So I'm going to quickly go over some of the systems so that you know what you're talking about. So, the main types of weapons on a Federation ship include phasers, photon torpedoes, and quantum torpedoes. Now, phasers are basically lasers. They just go pew, 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 and it doesn't really sound like that, but it totally should. And what they do is they fire from certain points in the ship, and they hit the other ship with massive kinetic force. See, you may think that it does damage because of the heat, but that's not really true. It unleashes enormous amounts of kinetic force into the shields or the starship itself, doing moderate to severe damage. You never really run out of ammunition for them, because they're totally energy-based. The next type of weapon you have are called photon torpedoes. They're basically like torpedoes in the real world, but they glow and they don't travel through water. You can fire them from your ship, and if they hit the target, they do a base amount of damage, and they look really cool, and they can sound more like... Not, not quite. It's something like that. And then finally, the other type of weapon you'll see on a Federation ship are quantum torpedoes. Now, these are fairly new, and they're a lot like photon torpedoes, except they do more damage, and they're blue. So, that's that. Also, I should point out that all ships have a shield system that you have to take down before you can actually do damage to the ship. In the Star Wars universe, oh my god, oh my god. Did I see Star Wars? Oh, don't tell anyone. They'll take away my Starfleet badge. Well, you be saying it never happened. <gasps> so, in propulsion systems in Star Trek, you have two types of tr impulses or propulsion. You have impulse engines, which are like your normal engines that you use to travel around the galaxy, you know, or the, the, you know, from planet to planet, when you don't have to travel long distances. You have one through nine when it comes to impulse engines. You also have something called warp engines, which is what you use to travel when you're going really long distances. Apparently they don't have that here though. Which is really weird. I'm gonna try and find that. Stupid database doesn't have anything on warp drive. Warp drive basically warps space so it pulls two parts of space closer together so that you can travel between them more quickly. It's like your stupid duper faster than light travel. And you can go all the way up to warp 9.9, .9, but warp 10 is considered infinite speed, so that's technically impossible. And not all races can achieve warp 9 or higher. It just depends on how awesome you are. But the Federation is like totally like the most awesomest race. So almost all their ships, they can go warp 9. So anyway, that's about the bit for the basics. And I'll be back later to tell you about more information you might need in the Star Trek universe. Okay? Enjoy the LP. Captain on the bridge. Incoming message from Admiral Liu. On screen. Captain, I'm glad to see you're settling into the center chair. I'm Admiral Liu, Chief of Starfleet Operations in the Maelstrom. Starfleet has a delicate assignment for you. The impact of the Vesuvi event is still being assessed. The Dragos colony was completely destroyed when the solar wave you reported consumed Vesuvi II. Both the Geki mining operation and the Haven colony at the edge of the system have suffered severe damage. A supply and support convoy is being assembled. However, this will take some time. Your job will be to make sure the immediate needs of Geki and Haven are met. I know your chief engineer hasn't had time to hammer out all the kinks after receiving your emergency repairs, but the Dauntless is the only ship in the area equipped to take on this operation. Proceed to Starbase 12 to take on emergency medical supplies, personnel, engineers, and equipment for the relief of the Geki and Haven colonies. Captain Jean-Luc Picard of the USS Enterprise will join you aboard Dauntless for this mission. Ooh. The captain recently was a guest lecturer at the Academy and has accompanied your new first officer from Earth. When your mission is completed, deliver Captain Picard to Biranu Station, where he will be speaking at a symposium.
Time is of the essence, Captain. Unnecessary delays will cost lives. Liu out. Do we have enough duct tape for this kind yes, of thing? Yes, the ruins on Tega 6 are spectacular. I'll be sure to mention your good taste in my formal report. Captain, I thought formal reports covered more serious matters. They do indeed. And I must say, you have certainly done a thorough review of your new crewmates, Commander. I commend your efficiency. Thank you, Captain. Captain, Jean-Luc Picard, a pleasure to meet you. Hi! I understand you served as this vessel's first officer. Yep. I knew Captain Wright. We went to the Academy together. You have my sincere condolences on his loss. However, if he saw fit to select you as his number one, I'm sure you'll do extremely well commanding the Dauntless. Actually, I blackmailed him into it. I would like to introduce you to your new first officer, Commander Safi Larson. Captain, I'm looking forward to working with you. Uh -huh. It was my good fortune and pleasure to accompany the commander to Starbase 12. It's been a while since I've been on the bridge of a galaxy-class starship. It seems so familiar to me from the years I spent aboard the Enterprise D. Hey everyone, Bernard here. As my personal lord and savior, John Luke Picard said, the Dauntless is a galaxy-class starship. Now the galaxy-class starship was the same class of the Enterprise from the TV show, and it's the most recognizable one of them all. It's got a very high threat rating because it's super, super powerful. As you can tell, it totally has like about 4.5 million metric tons of, of mass to it. It's got 42 decks and it can hold a crew of over 1,000. Its maximum capacity though is 15,000. That involves tiny little kids because they can fit in these small spaces. So it's really more like 13,000 adults, but you know, it's a different thing. If phasers are type 10, that's really powerful. Because if like 1 is not powerful and 10 is really powerful, that's the type 10. It says X, but X is really just a Roman numeral for 10. I know, I, I know these things because I'm smart. It has three torpedo tube launchers, which means it can fire three torpedoes simultaneously. Does not mean that it only has three torpedoes, despite what Eric says. God! And it's really one of the best ships in the Federation fleet. It's also one of the biggest. So, yeah, you get to start off flying one of the coolest ships in the Federation. How's that for a promotion? Sir. Perhaps Captain Picard could take the Dauntless out of Dry Dock. No, Commander, that would be presumptuous. I'm sure her new captain would like to take the Dauntless out for the first time. Please, sir, be our guest. We insist. That is most kind. I would be honored. Commander Larson, if you will take your no, station. No, I want to do it. Commander Larson will keep track of your mission objectives and current orders, Captain. Your first officer can be the greatest resource at your disposal. As a former first, you've already had that experience yourself. Commander Larson, bring us to Condition Green and ready the ship for departure. Aye, my, sir. My first Condition needs to learn green. to keep her All mouth shut. All hands rig for departure. I wanted to Chief, fly. please bring the main deflector, warp drive, and impulse engines online. And make sure our warp intermix ratio is at optimum efficiency. Aye, Captain. Main deflector and main drive systems register as ready. Mr. Diaz, bring main sensors online. Check that all worker bees in the area are clear. It's yes, my sir. ship! Main sensors online. <laughs> Registering all worker bees out of dry dock area, Captain. Mr. Savali, please bring the structural integrity fields online and make sure our tactical systems are primed and ready. Shields and defensive systems registering is fully operational, How does he sir. know all these people's names? We have a full names. torpedo complement, and the structural integrity fields are engaged for transit. Ensign Lomar, clear all moorings and take us out easy. One quarter impulse. Please signal the quartermaster. We're heading out. Signaling dry dock. All moorings cleared. One quarter impulse. Aye. Ooh, she's Bajoran. Man hasn't been on my ship five minutes. He's already taken over everything. Me and my first are going to have words. Captain, the bridge is yours. If you would like, take a moment to inspect each of the stations. If you would like any advice, feel free to consult with me. Oh, now the bridge is mine. Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you for giving me the bridge of my own ship. I need to... Um, I need to... Can I not talk... Look at other people? During his stay on the Dauntless, Captain Picard cannot see because Fraps numbers is in the way. Be available to help you guide you through the ca cannot see because the Fraps numbers are in the way. <laughs> Rolling the Starship's operations. 
Selected starship operations are listed in his menu by subject to have Captain Picard guide you through the operation. Select a subject by using the left mouse button. Remember to check his menu as you progress. Different subjects will become available as they become relevant. Now, just so everyone knows, I will stop this episode at the end of the tutorial. So if you don't care about all this, just skip to the next video. I thought about doing this off camera, but there are people who enjoy uh, watching the whole thing. So... I'm going to keep this on, but just skip to episode 2 if you want to skip all the uh, me going through menus and stuff. To select a station, simply send to the desired officer Welcome back, view sir. and click Those the left command sushi. mouse button. Okay. Hey. You. Your orders, Captain? Yeah, you. <laughs> How about you don't give commands on my ship unless I ask you to? I really wanted to take her out of the truck. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, 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 I, I can spin really fast. Hello, how's it going? Hey there, I'm Captain Squee. Okay, supposedly the entire game can be played from here. Uh, you can go outside and take control of the ship yourself or you can just issue orders to everyone. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to uh, that. Let's Your see orders, what we got Captain? here. Give me a report. Sir, we should head to Starbase 12. That's not a report. That's advice. I didn't ask for advice, you hippie. I want a report. Aye, Captain. All stations, damage report. Impulse engines are fully functional. Warp engines fully functional, Captain. I don't know Captain. why I called her a hippie. Phaser array is fully functional. Torpedo system is fully functional, Captain. Tractor beam is fully functional, Captain. Sensor system is fully functional. Hull integrity at 100%. Shields are at 100%. Cool. I think that'll be great when it's like not like that. It'll be neat. Green alert, yellow alert, red alert. Objectives. Head to Starbase. Sir, 12. we should head to Starbase 12 to pick up the supplies. Show mission log. Oh, cool, cool. Contact Starfleet. Reporting our status to Starfleet. Yeah, you go do busy work. Admiral hey, Luke yes, is sir? responding. Oh. I don't have time right now. What? Rude. All right, so this is Helm, I believe. Report, oh no, it's Tactical. Report. Tactical systems are looking good, sir. I think she's ready for anything. Really? Is she ready for the, the, the bastard son of Superman and Fluttershy from My Little Pony coming to bring rain of hell and destruction upon us? Do you think she's ready for that? If so, okay then. Manual fire, phasers only, target at will, destroy, disable, stop, evade. I like this. Targets, dry dock, dry dock, dry dock. Soho Station, U.S. Nightingale. <laughs> U.S. Nightingale, destroy. Phasers only. Friendly target selected, holding fire. Don't hold fire, I told you to destroy, man. Your orders, Captain? <laughs> Regards like what? <laughs> Are you questioning my orders? Congratulations, sir. Captain Wright would be very proud of you. Your orders, sir. Uh, proud of me for telling him to destroy a friendly ship? Oh, I like you. Your orders, sir. <laughs> He'd be very proud that you're trying to kill our side. Shall I set a course for Starbase 12, sir? Not yet. <clears throat> How about you hail? Dry dock C. Channel open. No response, sir. What? I think they're busy. I have about Soho Station. Channel open. They respond that they are too busy to chat right now. What? How about USSS Nightingale? Let them know where to No response, sir. I think they've taken their comm system offline. Yeah. How about Pegasus? Their communication systems are offline. Oh, sir. son of a biscuit. The entire Federation doesn't work. <laughs> Fine. Set course. Dry dock warp. Orbit planet. Standard orbit. Aye, sir. Ooh. This is cool. We'll just watch this for a little bit. And then if I want, I can go to the Entering cinematic standard view. Orbit. Oh, cool. This is not the view I was thinking it was. This is just cinematically watching stuff. These are some really good graphics, actually. Okay, how do I go outside? How do I go to... Your orders, sir. No, 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 no. Hang on. 
Um, configure. Controls. Oh, next camera mode. There we go. No. Uh, configure. Shift. Yes, but how do I get outside? I want to go outside. Oh, I can self-destruct my own ship. Interesting. Um, bridge. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Hang on. Ba Bam! Ha ha ha! And from here, orbit. I can guide my ship up and down and left and right. Isn't that cool? You have different modes of view. You have uh, the one that just follows you constantly, and you have one that follows whatever you're targeting. So if you're in combat, you're like firing phasers. And fire phasers! How do I how do I switch to manual fire? Shit. Aha. F. F. Oh god, I think I'm in the planet's atmosphere. That's not good. Okay, okay. Let's let's go. Hey. Your orders, Captain. Fix 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 us. I need you to to fix us. Standard orbit. Aye, <laughs> sir. Entering standard orbit. I was orbit. never a pilot. In fact, I don't even know how I became captain. I'm not even sure what I was before. Intercept. Intercept course plotted. Leaving orbit. I am intercepting the planet. <laughs> oh god, no. No, wait. No. No. Seriously, Standard stop it. Orbit. Stop it. I didn't mean to actually Standard intercept the planet. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are totally gonna die. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> I, I probably, maybe shields? Oh, no, wait. We got proton torpedo, spread, single, full. Phasers, intensity, you have different intensities. What intensities do you have? Full, low, full, low. Tractor off, got it. Um, why are we still in the atmosphere? Let's see, what's the same? So speeds. Ooh, speed nine. Leaving orbit. Yes, can we please get out of the orbit? Please. I would love that. I mean, can we get out of the atmosphere? There we go. That's what we get for trying to intercept a planet. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Captain. I'll stop. Aye, aye. So that we don't kill ourselves while I try and figure out what the rest of everything does. Congratulations, Captain. Your Aww. orders, sir? Well, thank you. Congratulations. You caught the planet. <laughs> Good job. Report. Who are you, engineering? This first warp jump will give me a chance to look over the intermix ratio. Simulations are never as good as the real thing. I don't know. I've seen some pretty good simulations. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. All right, power used. Um, so what's... Oh, I see. I think I see. Okay, get it. I got it. This is the energy we're using right now. This is where it can go to uh, maximum. Just this is what we, the warp cores can bring us. Then the main battery can bring it up to here. And then if we really desperately need it, reserve power can bring us up to here. This is cool. I am loving this. Uh, and we can bring weapons up. Can we? Weapons up to 100%. Shields up to 100%. No, and I still have a little bit of extra power. That's like shields to maximum, 125%. And weapons to maximum. Neat. All right, let's turn this back down. Well, I want to raise shields. Darn it. How do I raise shields? Tactical. No, maybe you. Who are you? Congratulations, Commander. Uh, I mean, Captain. Your orders, sir. Uh, report, Mr. Science. It'll be good to be back in space again, sir. 
It says Miguel, but I see right up here that his name is Science. <laughs> he is Mr. Science. I love him. Scan the area. Initiating scan. Well, hurry up, Mr. Science. I'm not reading anything new, Captain. Well, what about slightly used? Captain? Scan tire. Launch probe. Okay. Got it. We have Mr. Science, Mr. Engineering, <laughs> Mrs. Helm. <laughs> or, it's still Mr. Helm, because in the military, you don't say Miss. You say Mr. no matter what their gender is. So it's still Mr. Helm and Mr. Tactical. And... Number one. Alright, um, so that's it. That's everything. How do I raise shields again? Captain? I want to raise shields. Are they already raised? Are they already raised? I want to go to red alert. Red alert. Yes, sir. Red alert. Red alert. Oh, cool. The lights changed. Let's take a look. Tactical view. We have cool. Our shields are neat. So, and I can also hit F1 to talk to individual people. Helm, tactical, commander. Oh, uh, number one. Science. Engineering. Engineering. Lower shields. Raise shields. Lower shields. Lower weapons. <laughs> this is neat. Okay. Uh, Captain Picard. Got it. What? What are we doing on red alert? Yes, sir. Get off red alert. Cancel red alert. Yeah. Go to yellow alert. Yellow alert. Shields up. What? Oh, cool. So you go to yellow alert and then red alert. But how come you don't put shields up at red alert? That's crazy. Yes, Captain. Get off yellow alert. Cancel what are you doing yellow, on yellow alert. alert. What's wrong with you? Right, hang on. If we go to yellow, yellow alert. Yellow alert. Shields up. How much energy does that deflect or send to the shields? Hey. Yes, Captain. A hundred percent. Got it. That's Your actually orders, important. sir. Get off yellow alert. What's wrong Cancel with you? Cancel yellow alert. Yeah. Hey there, buddy. How may I assist? Um... Objectives? You can do this by asking her for a list of your current objectives. You know, I think I already figured all that out, thanks. No, I don't want to... When you do, the commander will be able to give you more specific information. Okay. Okay. Got it. What is this? Oh, this is that. Okay. Sir, we should head to Starbase 12 to pick up the supplies. Do you have anything how else may I to say? I don't need to figure. I already figured out how to set a course. So. Your orders, Captain. Mr. Helm. No, no, I need to. I should. I should. I should do this all like Star Trekky and stuff. Uh, Lieutenant. Your orders, sir. Ensign. Lieutenant. Is that an ensign? Is that like a rank in Ensign? Hmm. Okay, so, Ensign, take us to Starbase 12. Course laid in. Uh, oh right, I just set the course, now I actually have to tell her to go. Yes, sir. What? Engage! Yay! I totally engaged. Yep. <sighs> it's good to be here. We have arrived at Starbase 12, Captain. Shall I bring us in closer to the Starbase, sir? We will not be able to initiate a dock until we are closer to the Starbase. Ensign Lomar can bring us in closer by flying to the Starbase nav point. Okay. Yes, Captain? Ensign? Uh. Oh, go to the nav point, Starbase. Yes, sir. And hail the Starbase. Channel open. Incoming message from Starbase 12, sir. Good day, Dauntless. 
I'm Commander Graf, Commander here at Starbase 12. It's good to see your ship back in one piece. We've assembled the supplies for your mission, Captain. We will transfer them over to your cargo base once you've docked. Shall I initiate docking procedures, Captain? Yes, Ensign, please. Yes, Captain? Dock, please. Docking sequence initiated. Starbase 12 is the main staging area for Federation operations in the Maelstrom. Any damage repairs or resupply needs you have will be attended to here. That's a huge base. Welcome to your home away from home, Captain. We are secured to take on ship supplies, sir. Transferring supplies. Thank you, Ensign. Cargo base three and four report supplies have been received and stowed for transport. Transporter room two reports that the medical and engineering teams have beamed aboard, sir. Yay! Progress. All right, first things first, we gotta figure out, so he's a lieutenant, commander. You're just Mr. Science, I don't care what your rank is. And you are... Your orders, Captain? Oh, what are you? Chief. Oh, you're a chief. Okay. <clears throat> and we're the same rank, so don't you talk down to me. Hi. Right, what do you guys say? How may I assist? I don't know. Uh, no. Where are we headed? Objectives. Number one. Yes, Captain. Where are we going? Sir. We need to deliver the supplies to the Haven Colony on Vesuvi 6. All right. Why don't I go do that and then I'm feeling a bit parched. How about you go get me a cappuccino? Huh? Just, just a small one. Just put it on the armchair right there. It's got a cup holder. Yeah? Cappuccino? All right. That'd be swell. Yep. Yes, sir. Ah, it's good to be king. All right. Set course. For this place. Course laid in. Warp. Yes, sir. Engage. I should say engage. Engage. Woo -woo. 